Classification of bones according to shape. There are eight types of bones according to shape. Long, short, flat, irregular, nematic, sesamite, accessory and heterotopic. The long bone. Each long bone has an elongated diaphysis and two ends called the epiphysis. They also have a medullary cavity. Long bone has further three types. The typical long bone having two epiphyses and one diaphysis. For example, the humerus bone. Number two, the miniature long bones has one epiphysis and one diaphysis. For example, metacarpal bones. Number third, the modified long bones having no medullary cavity, having one diaphysis and two epiphyses. For example, the clavicle bone. The short bones. The short bones are exactly like the long bones, but their diaphysis is very short as compared to the long bones. They mostly have a cuboid shape. The flat bones. These bones are flat like plates. For example, the bones of the human skull. These are flat in structure. Other examples are ribs, sternum and scapula. The irregular bones. These bones don't have a specific structure. Different parts of the body contain irregular bones having completely different structure from each other. For example, the vertebra, the hip bone and the bones in the base of the skull. The pneumatic bones. The pneumatic bones are irregular bones having large air spaces. These air spaces make these bones light in weight. For example, the bones of maxilla, sphenoid, ethmoid, etc. Mostly these are present in the human skull. The sesamite bones. These are bony nodules found embedded in the tendons or joint capsules. They have no periosteum. Periosteum is a layer present on the outside of a bone. But these sesamite bones do not have periosteum. The sesamite bones are very important for normal locomotion of the human body. The accessory bones. The accessory bones are also called supernumerary bones, which means they are present in an extra quantity in human body. These bones are always not present. They may occur as ununited epiphyses developed from extra centers of ossification. For example, in the human skull, there is a typical bone which is called the Wormian bone. These bones are not always present in every individual. The heterotopic bone. The heterotopic bone sometimes develop in soft tissues. Horse riders sometimes develop bones in adductor muscles, which are called the rider bones. So these were the eight types of bones present in the human body according to shape. All bones of the human body are included in these eight types of bones. These bones are adopted in their shape according to their function. For example, the long and short bones are important for normal locomotion of the human body. The flat bones which are like long plates, they are most often present in the peripheries of the body and they help in support and protection of the human body. For example, the bones of the skull and the ribs sternum scapula. These are bones are important for protection of the delicate parts of the human body. The irregular bones are important for support of the human body. For example, the vertebra, the hip bone and the bones in the base of the skull. These bones provide support to the human body axis. The pneumatic bone which has ear spaces in between them are important to make the human skull light in weight. They also help in resonance of the voice and air conditioning chambers for the inspired ear inside the human skull. The sesamite bone have some important functions like they resist the pressure, minimize the friction and alter the direction of the pull of the muscle and maintain the local circulation. The accessory bone and the heterotropic bone have no anatomical importance. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. Thank you.